Hey there guys, Skulls here from Infamous Warfare. I've been getting a load of queries on how we record our phones and stream with the Android devices. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how we go about doing that. How we make our make it possible to record our YouTube videos on the One Piece Let's Play and how we also stream from our phones. So let's jump on over and we'll, we'll take a look at that. See you in a bit. Okay guys, so this is pretty simple and to top it off, well to make things even better, it's a free method. Unlike the reflector way that I showed you using reflector to record and be able to stream iOS devices, Android's way is actually free and it's done by using this little app called Mobizen and you can also do it from within a browser itself. Now myself and bullet we choose to do it from the browser itself as it's a lot less laggy than the actual app itself so when you open up the app you it'll come up basically like a phone and you want to be you want to put your phone in a developer option so you can get the debugging allow it to be debugging so what i'm going to do now is I'll, I'll just connect and if you're not aware how to do that itself um, I will we'll quickly run that. I'm going to actually just do it through my browser. So when you, I'm just going to show you quickly how you do it. And as you may have saw down the bottom, it said download. You can download it from their website if you do want to run it through the, um, the application on the PC. But what will happen is when you open up the app on your phone, because you obviously need to download the Mobizen app, which is free. At the bottom of the screen will be a two-step verification button. You just need to enter this code here and your phone will connect so I've just hit connect we are connected now I will be it's for some reason I'm unaw well it won't connect using the wire at the moment and I'm not too sure why that's happened so lately it's just been going through Wi-Fi because that's also another plus you can do it through Wi-Fi it can connect to Chrome so as you can see my phone uh, connected through Wi-Fi I just need to investigate more how to get it to go through the wire but it's still still good nonetheless I mean it works for the stream that we do now to put your phone in the actual developers options if you're unaware you want to come into settings and just on the about phone just want to click on the about phone there go down to build number and just start tapping just tap a few times and it will come up obviously it's saying I don't need to because I'm already a developer you get the developer options down here and then you can turn on USB debugging and I'm pretty sure that is all you really need to turn on obviously if you're going to be doing um, fake GPS and our mod locations uh, that's for friend gaming on the One Piece app I don't know maybe you want to hide yourself as well but anyway so that's basically the run around on that and yeah it's pretty much as simple as that so when you, you go on to you'll load up your one piece and obviously the same the same thing goes exactly for the actual application on the PC but like I say we just find the actual web browser version a lot less laggier so here you can see me loading up the one piece game and then what we do is from OBS you just go in and create a scene uh, and do the sub box to just go around there and obviously you, you can do your overlay however you feel like doing it but this is this is just for this game I mean you might have a few games that you might want to record something like that and generally what we do just to, to save a bit of space we'll hang it right you can hang it right up out the out the screen and just keep it in there I mean you can even go to the extent of hanging it out like that way but last time I did try it on OBS it came up with the black box so I'm, I think it can be a bit temperamental, but you can still save yourself a lot of space just by having it out there. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So simple, free to top it off and can't get any easier than that, really. But if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try to do my best to answer them to the best of my abilities. And please, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you have enjoyed this, guys. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Oh, guys, I also forgot to say that if you're not one for doing live commentaries as you're playing games, you can also record while you're out and about. So you don't even have to be on the PC. You can record your screen 
No, I haven't actually done this. So I'm not sure where the files actually save. But you can record your screen on your actual phone from within the app on your phone. So if you're out and about and you are you have an idea for a game and you just want to get it done there and then, and then do the commentary later, then you can go ahead and do something like that. Just record the screen. But like I say, guys, I haven't actually tried it. So I'm not too sure how that goes or where the files save. So that's down for you to find out. But yeah, just a little extra one there for you guys. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check us out on Twitch, Hitbox, Twitter and Facebook. We appreciate all the help we can get. Thanks very much.